in few more methods uh, index of method index of is basically it will find the position of the character or a string in a given string in a main string and uh, so here if you see s1 is a java selenium right s1 dot index of v v character you are finding out and java so j a v a right j a v 0 1 2 so you'll get a 2 here in this variable and selenium see there is a java selenium right it's in the four fourth index the selenium word will start so that is this index of method you can give a character you can give a word also so it will find out that given character or word index number. So that's the index of method. There is one more last index of. For example, you have multiple uh, words with the same name. You want to find out the last index of that word. So this will uh, help you. So that's the last index of so this also returns an integer type of data int last index equal to s1 dot whatever the string object dot last index of e. So that means in Java Selenium e last occurrence you are asking so that e last occurrence position it will fetch for us that's the last index of next get bytes get bytes you know fetches the byte value of each character and returns byte array returns byte array so byte array is basically integer, right? Integer. So each ASCII code, it will return. Each character ASCII code in the S. S means Java. Java value is stored in the S. Each character ASCII code will be stored in this BT array. So array, you know how to iterate using for each loop, you can iterate that. That's how we can uh, iterate the array, any array. Next, compare to method string str. If I s1 know. greater than s2, so returns a positive value. Else, s1 less than s2 returns negative value. Else, s1 equal to s2 returns 0. Now, if you observe this, uh, system.out.println, but how it will compare is uh, character by character ASCII code difference, it will uh, find out. So based on that, it will calculate the same ASCII code or not. That's how let's go graphically, it will compare the given two strings. So the difference it will calculate. If you see this, S1, you are comparing with S2 using compare to method. S1 is all lowercase compared to S2. S2 is in capital letters. So you already know S1 is starting at uh, ASCII code 97 and uh, uppercase letters capital A starts with the, the rate 65 right so if you if you know get the difference of these two 97 minus 65 you'll get a 32 difference right that 32 difference it will return to you here also s2 dot compared to s1 
So here S2 is lower. Here bigger. This is the bigger one. That's why plus 32 you will get. But here this is the lower and this is the bigger. And you will get here minus 32. And now S1 and S3 both are same. That's why you will get a 0 here. That is the how, no? Uh, both strings, how you can compare lexical graphically. So basically, the ASCII code wise, you can compare them. And the ASCII code difference will return to us when you use a compare to method. So one uh, small interview question on this compare to. How can you get the length of string without using an inbuilt so how can you find the length of string generally? Length method using okay. length method, right? Mm -hmm. But now you here question is you should not use length method. How can you calculate? That's a kind of tricky question. So they will ask in the interviews. So here uh, you can find length of given string is so that string dot compare to don't give any string so other uh, no second string don't give it is one string length you want how many characters are there so then if you compare that you will get the only this uh, string has how many characters so that is the this how you can calculate the length of a string next so these are all non-static methods till now whatever we have seen, right? Let me list out all the non-static methods before going to static return type methods. So I'm going to list out from the beginning uh, to recap for you, length method, which returns number of characters. Char et method, you have to give an argument uh, index number to get the character of uh, that uh, string at the given index. Care a uh, two care array method. So two care array will convert the given string into character array. Next, concat method. So it will join the two strings. It will join the two strings, and then. Two lowercase method, it will convert into lowercase. Two uppercase method, it will convert the string into uppercase format. That's a two lowercase and two uppercase. And uh, then we have a equals method, it will compare the two given strings, but exactly it should match. If it is a lower, lower. If it is a upper, upper. So same character should be there in both the strings. Then only you will get that true. And equals ignore case. So this method, what it will do, it will ignore the cases and returns true for you. And the same letter is there or not, it will check. If same letter is not there, it won't... Uh, Return true. Then we have ease empty method. Is this we are going to use widely? So you will check if the string is empty, what action you want to do. That's why this method is important. And then we have contains method, another widely used one. Uh, contains equals uh, most of the times you will use uh, length method. When you're working with the strings, these methods are caret method. Definitely need to get the character to work with uh, no strings. So caret method is widely used another string method. Every method is a return type method. Next we have a, a split method. Uh, it will uh, split the uh, given string into so different words and stores in the string array based on the given delimiter. So, and uh, trim method is there. It will uh, know 
remove the head and tail portion uh, white spaces and give the new string to us. And we have a replace method. So you can replace any character as string in the given string. The replace all is there. You can multiple occurrences you want to replace. You can either replace all. And there is a one more substring method. So did we discuss on this substring? Right, we discuss it, right? Or no? No, Ramesh, we didn't discuss it. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay, it will be there in the bottom side. Okay, we'll, we'll see that. It will be there in the bottom. We'll discuss that also. And uh, so we have a index, uh, last index of methods, oh, very important methods. So next, compare to and the join method. So join method, basically, you can join multiple strings with a given delimiter. All in between all these strings, that delimiter will be placed automatically. Then you will get a new string. So that's a, this is the static return type method. Two parameterized. Uh, this is a multiple arguments, basically. Sorry, not a, two parameterized. One parameter, next all, how many you want, you can give the number of parameters. So you know how to call the, so one class uh, static method in another class, return type uh, static method. How can you call one class uh, static method in another class? Class date, no, class name dot static uh, return type method. Return type means uh, you have to tell first data type, right? Yes, yes. Left yes. side you, you have to store in the sound data. data. Yeah. So that's the string, uh, which returns a string type data. S10 equal to string dot join and uh, colon. I'm joining with a Tuesday in 06, 13, 2023. So let me change this to. Yeah, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I'm just giving a random, okay? Uh, 9, 23, right? So let's go and see that. So basically here colon, when you give, when you join with these all different strings with this uh, colon, that's for the join purpose. Next, value of method. So value of method is uh, another overloaded method. Please understand method overloading. Equals method is following method overriding. Value of method is following method overloading. Sir, what is overloading? You already know. We discussed it very nicely. And uh, so these examples also you can give, but generally they will ask in the selenium. Can you give some selenium methods which follows the method of overloading concept in your automation? Okay, so you need to remember that some of the uh, selenium methods which follows the polymorphism concepts. So I'll give you don't worry there. So value of method, what it will do is, see, you can convert the given character, integer, object, float, boolean, any kind of data into string format. So what is this value of method will do? It will convert the given object into primitive format, uh, sorry, string format. String object format it will convert. So which written says string type data. So that's why string s11 equal to string class dot value of 25 that means now you are given an integer number which will convert into string format now 25 in the s11 is in string format not number okay so that's it. then when you add s11 value is s plus s11 if you do so it's going to be a different s is java java plus s11 value 25 and Java 25 will get. Then S12 equal to S11 plus 34. So S11 is 25, 25 plus 34. How much you will get? In the S2, S12, what is the value you will store? Hmm. 
Yes, twelve. What is the value? Twenty-five thirty-four. Yes, twenty-five thirty-four. Absolutely correct. So twenty-five thirty-five uh, thirty-four will store here. That's your printing. Okay, so substring is coming here. We forget, right? And uh, that's fine. Okay, what is a substring? Substring methods are also overloaded again. Two methods are there. So what is overloading? What is the method of overloading? Method overloading, it's a parent class method. we can call mm -hmm. it class with the same method name, different parameters. And, mm -hmm. uh, small correction, I think you, know, you need to make a small correction. See, always method of overloading happens in one class only. There is no parent class at all. Okay. It happens in one class only, method of overloading. Method of overriding will do in two classes. Okay, is yeah. this clear now? Yeah, yes, Ramesh, it's clear. So, method name same. A class contains multiple methods with the same name, but different arguments. Here one parameter, here two parameters. How it will, your compiler will distinguish this, which method you are calling based on the number of arguments you are passing to this method. So substring, if I pass two parameters, it will call this method, not this one. So that's the method of overloading. Very simple. You have to remember it. It's very easy to remember it because we already discussed constructor, constructor of overloading also and method of overloading also and given examples also. The definition you should not forget. You should give exactly what is uh, so method of overloading. If a class contains multiple methods with the same name, but different parameters. That is called method of overloading. So class should have multiple methods with the same name. Multiple methods with the same name, but a different parameter use. That is the so method of overloading. Again, here I, I covered and value of also C, value of char C, one parameter only value of int i, value of object obj, value of float f. But every value of method is having one parameter only. But what is the change? Each method, each value of method, what is the difference? What is the difference you are observing each value of method? Ayyo. What is that question, Ramesh? I didn't hear it. Value of method C, value of char C. One more value of method int i. Value of method object obj. Value of method float f. What is the difference between each of this? Even single parameter here also. Here also single parameter. Data here type. Also. Data type. Ah, data type of the? Parameter is different. <laughs> this is a parameter, right? <laughs> am, I, am I right? Yes. This parameter data type is different. This parameter data type is different. This parameter data type is different. Okay. Yeah. Next. So, so let's go to substring. What is substring? A portion of string is called substring. So, for example, if you take this int uh, start index, it fetches the characters from start index to till end. Start index to till end, all the characters it will fetch. For example, in Java Selenium, if I give four, it will fetch from fourth index includes until end. So Java Selenium is uh, Selenium starts with the fourth index. 
So yes also you will get. Yes to till all, all the characters. That's the substring with the one parameter. There is another one, substring with the two parameters. In between the range, you want to get the words or you want to get the substrings. Then you will use a substring with the two parameters, start index and end index. That's the substring with the start index and the end index. So basically it fetches the character in between start and end index. So here start index is inclusive. That means at that start index, the character will get for you. In index, the character won't return for you. That means that is a exclusive. That means excludes the character at index, at end index. That means end index, even though if you give that place, what character is there, you won't get it. That before only you will get it. Are you clear on this? Start index and end index. Start index character will be included in the returning substring. End index character won't be returned before that only will return. Are we good? Still any doubts? Let's move on to the example. You will understand. String S14 equal to Java web driver. Okay. So now I want to fetch only web driver from this string. This entire thing is one string, right? I want to fetch only web driver. How can you fetch? See here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is having space. 5, this is the start index. So that's what I mean, S14 dot substring of 5. So that means I'm calling this substring method. So what this will do? 5, what index is there? W, till end all it will get. The portion of string it is getting S15, you will get a web driver. Get only web keyword. Only this two, these three you will get. So how can you get that? String S16 equal to S14 dot substring of only this means. How can you get only this? We can give the index of the value and... We have to get until seven, right? We can give eight value. Eight. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You're right. So the start index is five and end index is eight. Why we are giving eight? Because eight index D is there. D won't return. D before one only it will return. So that means end index minus one only will return to. So that's why you have to give eight if you want to be. Can you tell me, I want only driver. Now, what, what method you need to use? No, substring of uh, that index. D index oh. is 8. 8, okay. Yeah. Start index is 8. Mm -hmm. Driver until end index is 8, 9, hmm. 10, 11, 12, 13. We have to give. 13? Are you sure? 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11 12, 12, 13. 13, if you give, you won't get R. Yeah. So you have to give 14. 14. Till 13 is R only. <laughs> you got it? So 13, so 14 you have to give to get R also. If you give 13, R you won't get. End index will be excludes, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you have to give 14. Okay, so that's how we are going to use this substring. Okay, let's go and execute this. Uh, 
then we'll go for the so few more um, see here web go web driver you're getting all this so 32 minus 32 0 and length of uh, s is 4 see this is uh, joined only there it will join in between the given strings only it will join so that is this uh, so join method and so that's all about string methods if you know these methods then solving the string programs is easy and one for loop if you know these for loops so these methods and you can solve the string programs very easily but uh, same methods only we will use there i'm going to use same methods only again in the programs we're going to see programs also right we'll go let's go a uh, few more concepts are there uh, then we'll come back uh, for the programs few more programs okay let's go so we have a we have seen a string now we need to see a string buffer what is mean by string buffer we know string is an immutable class right string is an immutable class so that it's a thread shape right and uh, string buffer let's understand what is mean by string buffer string buffer is a mutable class so mutable class means you can modify the same string so if you modify the same string you will get a new string but in the same memory it will modify it won't create a new memory again that's what the mutable string means same string will be modified and different so format you will get in the same memory only not in another memory so that is the this string buffer means so string buffer class is used to create a mutable strings that means modifiable strings if you want to modify same string use string buffer instead of string class you don't want to modify take string class so nobody you should not allow any other person to modify your uh, string and uh, no declare it as a string or you want to modify the string use string buffer so the string buffer class in Java is almost similar to string only, except it's immutable, it can be changed. And also string buffer class is thread safe, multiple threads cannot access it simultaneously. So, so it is uh, safe, will result in the order. So you will get in the same order because it's a synchronized. So string buffer is a synchronized class inbuilt uh, synchronization will be there that's where you'll get all the so, strings in the order so you can you see here can you tell me here see how many constructors here what type of constructor is this default okay. constructor and this one is a yeah, single parameterized constructor but there are single parameterized constructor third one also but the data type is different so what do you call this The constructor overloading. Exactly, you're right. A class can have multiple constructors, but different arguments. That is called constructor overloading. So here, the string buffer class is having multiple methods. So one by one method we'll understand. So string buffer is having, first one is append method. So basically it will append the specified string with the given string. And this method also overloaded. See another example for overloading. Append method. Append, you can append the character, you can append the string, you can append the float, or any primitive data you can append to the string. That's append method. Insert method. So insert int offset string is. Basically, in this location, it will insert this value. 
So it is used to insert the specified string with this string at the given position. That's the insert method. Next, replace method. So replace int start index, int end index, and a string str, okay? In this start and end index between, you can replace with this string. That's the replace method. That is the replace method. Delete method. So delete, it is used to delete the string from the specified start and end index in between. You can delete the strings. A reverse method. So suppose you want to reverse the string, you can use this. But in the interviews, you cannot use this built-in method. So they will ask the question, can you reverse the string without using built-in methods? That's the main question they will ask. So I'll show you how to reverse the string. Uh, easy way you can do different ways. I'll show you how to reverse the string. You, whichever you like, you can uh, so use that. But you should not use uh, built-in methods. That's the main concept they will target. Next, another important one we want, caret method, you know, already we discussed, right? It will return the character at a given index. Length method, you know, substring method, you know. And one more method I'm looking for that. Okay, so it's not here. Yeah, see by default, this method is, uh, this is uh, synchronized. So let's go to the difference between string and string buffer. So very important interview question, this one. Please uh, read only three points. Don't neglect, okay? String class is immutable. First point, you know already, string buffer is mutable. Very simple point. Next, string is a slow and consumes more memory when you concat too many strings because it you know uh, every time when you join two strings a new memory will be created that's why uh, for example s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s4 if you do first s1 plus s2 will join a new object will create that to a result plus s3 plus s4 another result another you uh, know object will create it. Two objects already created. Then these two results will join one more time. That another memory will create. So it's you now too many concatenations, too many strings. Concatenation will make slow because you no, know, it, it creates a lot of memory, consumes a lot of memory. String buffer is very fast and consumes very less memory. And when you can when you can get strings with the string buffer, so better to use string buffer if you want to concatenate. Third point, string class overrides the equals method of object class, so you can compare the contents of two strings by equals method. String buffer class it doesn't override the equals method of object. That's it. So these are the two important. Let's go and one more is there. Uh, string buffer and string builder. Okay. So last one. Uh, what is the difference between string buffer and string builder? So string buffer is by default synchronized. So thread safe. It means two threads can't call the methods of string buffer simultaneously. So when, when you want to go to multiple threads and they each thread one, thread two cannot call the string buffer classes simultaneously. So string builder is non-synchronized. Uh, it's not a thread set, so that uh, two threads can call the methods of string builder simultaneously. String buffer is less efficient than string builder, and string builder is more efficient than string 
buffer. So string buffer was introduced in Java 1.0. String builder is introduced in Java 1.5. Okay, Java 5, they introduced. So that's all about uh, theory part. And you can see here, uh, the storage area for a string is uh, string constant pool. And string buffer will store in the heap memory and string builder also will store in the heap memory because you have to create object for these classes with a new keyword. And here you can create a literals, right? In the first string, but a string buffer, string builder, you cannot uh, store using literals. So modifiable string, no. String buffer is modifiable, string builder also modifiable. Thread safe, string is thread safe, string buffer also thread safe and string builder is not thread safe. Performance is slow when you're concatenating too many strings and uh, slow but faster than string. And this is the faster than all string and string buffer. Okay, So that's all about theory. Let's come back and see programs. Okay, only programs left now. Theory is over and we'll uh, see the programs. Yeah. Thank you. Jan back quickly and we'll see the programs.